Hi everyone, Kim Bradley from Magnet Forensics to share with you how to use Magnet Axiom to download data from Google. We've created a new case in Axiom process and we'll go to evidence sources. Next we'll select cloud and then we will be acquiring evidence. Select that you have the proper search authority and then we'll select Google. Then you are presented with three options for authentication. The fine print will tell you what data can be obtained with each method. The first is username and password, and that will get you the highest level of access to this account's data. When you click Next, you'll be prompted to enter the username and password for the account. The second option is to use an external browser for authentication. This will direct you to your default browser so you can enter the username and password there. Notice the details listed that specify what can be obtained by this method. Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Photos, and Audit Logs if it's a Google Workspace admin account. Once you've signed in, Axiom will move forward in the acquisition process. The last method is to use an account token for the Google account. This could possibly be retrieved in a processed Axiom case and be included in the Password and Tokens Artifact category. This will only give you access to Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Photos, and Gmail. I've selected to use the external browser authentication, and then we have some options. When I select Google Drive, I'm directed to pick and choose which folders I'd like to download, and this can include the files and folders that have been shared with this account, or as it says here, shared with me. I can also select Google Apps and select Gmail Messages, Google Photos, and Google Calendar. Click Next, and lastly, we can apply a particular date range. We can either select all dates, before or after a particular date, or a custom date range. Remember to give these acquisitions a meaningful name since you may, for example, only include a particular date range and then go back later and download for another date range. This could be helpful for the extraction files to be named accordingly. Go to Processing Details and Cloud Artifacts. We'll leave everything selected, click Go to Analyze Evidence, then Analyze Evidence again. In Axiom Examine, you'll see we have several artifact categories populated with the data we've downloaded. As with other types of evidence sources, Refined Results has artifacts grouped in like categories, so take a look at the Google searches. We also have Web Related Data, Media Category, has pictures and videos and also information from our Google Photos, email and calendar, documents, which also includes our Google Tasks, cloud storage includes those files and folders from the Google Drive that we selected, and application usage, which shows cloud Google activity. This may have such artifacts as websites listed or Google Map usage or Google search terms and location and travel. This has Google map activity with GPS coordinates. This is data we often find on a physical device such as a workstation or phone, and may also be subject to additional artifacts being added or artifacts being deleted if the Google account is still in use. All of these are considerations when looking at all of your data sources for your investigation. Thanks for watching.